times this straight ahead, but first, here's what's happening. With rush hour traffic at an all-time high. Here's the traffic freeway. 2257 Energy Way, northbound. Well, the Interix National Traffic Scorecard is the most comprehensive look at traffic in America. It uses tens of billions of data points collected from cars and trucks around the country to rank the 100 most congested cities and the 1,000 most congested bottlenecks in our country. Traffic declined by nearly 30% in 2008, and it's primarily because traffic is a lens by which we see what's happening in the broader economy. Obviously, in the first part of 2008, we saw fuel prices spike dramatically, and that had an influence on traffic. And in the second half of 2008, obviously, the economic collapse had an impact on traffic. So we saw 99 of the top 100 cities drop in terms of congestion this year alone. There's a couple of policy implications of the scorecard. Obviously, traffic decreased, and that's a good thing. But as a result of the broader macroeconomic environment, not necessarily. Obviously, traffic is caused by people commuting to their jobs, it's caused by freight moving between businesses, and it's caused by people taking vacations. So because the traffic decrease that we saw was the result of high fuel prices and then an economic collapse, not necessarily a good thing for the overall country. Detroit experienced the second largest decrease in congestion of any city in America, nearly 47% in 2008. That was largely caused by two factors. The first is that the economy hit Detroit especially hard with the nearly 21% unemployment rate. But also, construction on the John Lodge Freeway that happened in 2007 was largely completed in 2008, so it wasn't impacting traffic in 2008. In next year's report, Hopefully the economy will have recovered and we won't have any significant spikes in fuel prices. So what we expect to see is that overall congestion levels return to their 2007 levels.